Okay, so let's try and um, take some of the um, schmoo off of this poor puppy and get it cleaned up so that it looks a little bit more presentable. Those have um, set screws, so we'll have to use a little more smarts with that. Focus mode is back here. Okay, so yeah, just need to uh, remove the, uh, loosen the set screw, and then this just pops off and it's indexed. This one isn't. And I don't want to lose the set screw, so I'm gonna pull that out before I throw that into the soapy water. Really? You have to remove the CRT in order to get at the, uh, at the front panel? That doesn't seem right. So indeed, it does look like the only way to get at the faceplate is to take this out and perhaps desolder the uh, the jack, the um, BNC connectors on the front. So um, I have decided that that is not worth my effort to try and do at this point. Um, so we're just going to go back to cleaning the front panel carefully with the knobs removed, and then and then we will. Um, clean the knobs thoroughly, and then reinstall them on the scope. Okay, so it's looking a little cleaner. Now let's try and throw some uh, contact cleaner onto the pots and the switches. All right, so let's see what we get. Um, it looks a lot cleaner, I think. Well, it is a lot cleaner. <clears throat> so let's uh, power it up. Yeah, we've got a beam. Uh, hasn't warmed up yet. Channel one. That will chop times one. say we're looking at one millivolt AC. All right, so there it is. We've got it working fairly nicely, I think. There we go. That beam find button is really handy. Oh, and I'm on times 10. Um, so yeah, I do need to do a little trimming on this probe because it's got a little bit of overshoot there. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> I think it is a pretty good score for 50 bucks. Well, 55 plus shipping. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.